was the most historic, legendary fish we've ever captured. And it set the tone for Cape Cod in a very difficult environment with sharks that didn't want to bite. But before we let her go, I named her Mary Lee after my mother because my parents have done so much. I was just waiting and waiting for a special shark. It's just a historic moment and the most legendary fish I've ever been The Oysters organization is a team of fishermen and a collective group of scientists who come together to actually study and understand some of those apex predators that are living out in the ocean. We are a vehicle for scientists. We are a facilitator for scientists and researchers that couldn't get access to the animals that we provide them access to. Whether it be they can't catch the fish or they don't have the means to get that close to the animal in a stable environment, really. Osearch is probably one of the most unique companies out there in terms of it's so much. It is world-class science, it is inspiring young kids, social media aspect of it, it's a conglomerate of so many things. So that's what makes it so unique. I think the purpose of Osearch is kind of multidimensional. On the surface level, it's to enable science communities to learn things we haven't learned before. If we can manage the white shark toward abundance, then the system moves toward abundance because they are the lion, the balance keeper. For me, what's really going on is, is trying to prove a model. You can pursue endeavors that are fundamental to the future, and because we're in this era of content creation and total connectivity, build enough scale around it to make it worth it for brands who want to look after the future of the planet to fund it. And so trying to prove there's a new way, a new model of collaborative teams that come in and include the world in real time. You know, do the work, create the content, create the product, give it all away, and create so much scale, you monetize the scale, not the content of the product. A lot of people think that we are just fishermen, and that's true, you know, I started out as a fisherman, but I've evolved. Um, I've worked with some of the smartest people that care about the ocean, and I'm just happy to be a part of a little bit of it, helping to catch these sharks, changing people's demeanor about sharks, you know, wanting to care about sharks, because without the sharks, the ocean is going to fall apart, and that's a fact.